Hello, my dear guests. We want to migrate our projects to use the latest features of Angular, so our development will be much easier and more enjoyable. Unfortunately, it's very hard to convince a business to migrate our projects because it doesn't bring any business value. And we don't want to spend our weekends and nights migrating our project, especially if they are very big. Angular team also understand this and they come to the rescue. To use their help, you will need Angular 15 or higher. The feature is automatic migration with ng generate and this Angular core standalone migration. Let me show you how it works. So we will have the project that is generated with modules. Open your terminal and just ng generate and this Angular core standalone migration. You will have three options. First option is to migrate components directive and pipes to standalone. The beauty of it is it's, uh, you do not need to migrate all your projects at once, especially if you have a complex project. You can start with a, a simple component and then when you gain trust into this migration tool, you can move to another component or you can go nuts and just migrate the whole application. The second, remove unnecessary ng-module classes. Unfortunately, it's not very useful. Uh, I've tried it on three projects and the first convertible component, it was beautiful. It migrated everything. The second, it didn't do anything at all. It just removes ng-modules that are not used. And the third option is bootstrapping the application with standalone API. It's also very useful, but be careful with it. It's not only bootstrapping, it's also migrating some of the components that it found you are using. So let's start with the first one and convert all components. And uh, I do not want to migrate the whole application at start. I want to try. And let's select this like user component. So I just need to pass the path src app and user. So it's src app and user. And as we can see, it migrated to standalone our component. So we have all the imports. Also, remember to check your build. And in case you are like really trusting this, you can just migrate the whole project. And let me show you. It migrated all my components to use standalone. And it's very nice. So let's git reset. Let's try now the third option. It will bootstrap our API. So, but it will also change some components, but it's much safer to use first the first option and then the third option because Sometimes it will not migrate the whole project. It will migrate only the components that you are kind of using. So if we go into, we can see that it didn't migrate our user component. But what it did is now instead of platform browser dynamic bootstrap module, it uses our app component and it takes all, all the providers and uh, classes from our app module and also it will remove it. So it just, it just copy and paste in reality uh, all the modules into this import providers from and uh, 
providers into below, just below. And I want just to show you the second option. It's remove unnecessary ng modules. Even we migrated the whole project to our standalone. Unfortunately, it doesn't remove. You still have to go and manually, for example, this user module, you will need to remove it manually from our main TS and from this user module. And this is how you migrate your project to standalone API. Remember to take breaks. Have a great day. Bye.